purpose of this quick video is I'm going to show you um, everything that you need to know to make sure that you're successful in taking your first quiz this week and then also you should start reviewing the feedback that I'm giving you on your assignments. So what does the quiz cover? Well the quizzes cover everything from the previous week and as you get further on in the course it will basically cover everything that's been previously covered in the course because the quizzes are essentially cumulative. I just want to make sure that you are um, retaining all of the material from the previous weeks. And if I notice that a student is uh, not doing very well in their quizzes, I'm going to reach out to them. Um, it's also an important way for, to, you know, to encourage you to be getting into your book. Um, so make sure that you are getting into your book and preparing for these quizzes. Are the quizzes open book? Well, there's no real way to monitor that, so that's fine. There is a time limit on the quizzes, so keep that in mind as well. Um, the quizzes are generally going to be anywhere between 20 and 40 multiple choice and true-false questions. Um, and it's an important part of your grade. Um, I believe that all courses should have multiple points of assessment, so I'm not just going to give base your whole grade in the course uh, just on one or two assignments. You'll notice that this course has lots of assignments because I want to make sure that um, you have multiple opportunities for me to be able to give you feedback, multiple opportunities for you to be able to succeed, and um, I also give extra credit. So let's say you didn't do very well on a quiz. Uh, there's going to be multiple opportunities to go back and get extra credit to make up for that. Um, when are quizzes due? Uh, quizzes are due at the end of that week, so this is week two, so quiz, the quiz will be due by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. Um, and then, you know, how do I get feedback on my assignments? We're going to talk about that. Um, and then are all of my assignments turned in? We're going to talk about how to answer that. So now you're ready to take your first quiz. On the activities page, you'll find that's where I introduce it. So you'll scroll down to the bottom. Here's all your stuff about your homework they're supposed to be doing. Then here's your information about your quiz. It says complete the week two quiz, which covers all the material from week one and chapter one from your book. So week one um, means the videos that we watched from um, Web, Fund Web Design Fundamentals. So keep that in mind. Uh, the quiz contains a mixture of multiple choice and true false questions. We already mentioned all that. So. And then here's some important information um, about taking your quiz. Uh, make sure that you're, I'm going to show you the quiz here in just a second, but uh, make sure you notice the legend at the right hand side. This will tell you uh, how much time is allotted. It'll tell you which qu questions you've answered and saved. Uh, for example, this one here, uh, this lets you know that you have an answer in but it's not saved. This lets you know that an answer is saved. This is a question that you haven't answered at all. There's a key right here. This is a multiple choice question, so just be sure that you're always, you know, you're selecting an answer and then you click save and view next. And then when you click finish, it's going to say, are you sure? And then if you have questions that are unanswered, it's going to say, did you know that you have some unanswered? So let's take a look at a quiz. So here's your actual quiz. This week's quiz is 40 questions. No, this is the actual first question from your quiz. Um, so this will let you know that all these questions here are currently unanswered. The, up here this lets you know that you do have an hour to answer these 40 questions. So the first question is the world's largest network is the internet, the World Wide Web, Newsnet, or both A and B. So you would choose an answer and you, you would click either, if you just click next question, it says the answer you're being changed but not saved. Do you want to discard your changes to proceed? You can revisit the question later. You can hit OK. And then I'm surprised, I was expecting that to have the It's looking like, for some reason, it's not allowing us to not save answers, but that doesn't really affect us. Anyways, just make sure that you select an answer and hit save, select an answer and hit save, so then you get these all. Oh, that's what it's doing. As soon as you select an answer, it's going to tell you over here that the answer is not saved. So you do need to save it and view next. And then when you're finished with your assessment, it's in a, like I said, it's going to prompt you, are you sure you want to submit your assessment? All of these questions are not answered, and you would hit, you would hit, obviously you would hit cancel and go back and answer it. So again, you have an hour to answer 40, 40 multiple choice questions. So now you might be asking, well, how do I get feedback on my assignments? Well, if you want feedback on your assignments and your quizzes, you just basically can go straight to the tool. For our purposes today, let's just talk about how to get feedback on our assignments. So you just go to the assignment tool, and notice here, this will tell you these are your assignments that you have that you have submitted and you're waiting to be graded. These are the assignments that are graded. We're not publishing assignments in this class. 
The inbox is very important. You want to make sure that you don't have anything in your inbox. If you have something in your inbox, that means that it's something that you need to do. So if you come to your inbox and you see assignments from weeks one and week two, perhaps, those are assignments that you need to do and turn into me. You might think, well, why do I have something in my inbox? I already turned that in. That's because I've sent it back to you with some feedback. This student in particular has a graded assignment that they would like to see. So commonly in week one, one of the things that you're, you've submitted is your term project choices, and you want to know what your, if your choice has been selected or not. So what you can do is you can go to the graded area, and you can see the feedback that I've given you on your choice. So this student here, their submission was, hi, my first choice is doing a website about Hayao Miyazaki. Uh, it's anime, all is known. Will this work for my term project? And then here I gave them feedback. I'm too a fan of Hayao, and go ahead and proceed yada yada yada. But let's say that if there was something I needed you to do on an assignment you would come in here to your inbox and you would click on that assignment scroll down to the bottom and you would receive the feedback of me telling you unfortunately there was a problem with your assignment I need you to resubmit it. So always be going to your assignment area and checking to make sure what's been submitted. You can also go to the grades area and see the grades in your assignments. Currently the student doesn't have any grades but you would come here and you would see the grades that you're currently getting and then if I've given you feedback on those assignments you'll see some, fee uh, some, some other feedback on the assignments you'll see those right here as well so uh, I want you to um, you know feel free to contact me with questions if it's a question specifically related to you and your grades that the whole class doesn't need to see just go ahead and send me a mail message if it's a question like we've talked about before a question that's just about general course stuff this is where you're going to be asking me those questions so again, like I finished all my videos, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you are successful in the course. Have a good week.